a new hitch. Hi, Jim and Sharon, Drive to Ride. We're here to tell you about our new hitch. It's called the Hensley Hitch. And we're going to talk about why we got a new hitch. Right, Jim? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep, why we got a new hitch. Um, like probably the majority of all the hitches you see on the road today, we had a pretty typical weight distribution hitch for our uh, uh, travel trailer. And uh, we had one particular problem with it. Uh, not really so much with the hitch, but it was a feature of the hitch that we had to struggle with a little bit. Uh, for all weight distribution hitches, there it comes up point in the hitching process that you have to lift the weight of the trailer onto the, uh, the tow vehicle. And usually that's done with some kind of a bar or something where you have to uh, take the chain and heave it up, or in our case it was a torsion bar that you would have to uh, uh, get underneath the torsion bars and with a big lever and heave the thing up onto the, uh, the brackets. Um, and I called it the Klingon pain <laughs> sticks because they were a pain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, for me in particular it was a pain because I've got a shoulder problem. So uh, most of the time it was okay. You can lift the tongue of the, of the trailer up so that, uh, using the tongue jack so that it's not too terribly bad. But every so often it got to be pretty difficult. And it was difficult to the point that it was causing me a lot of discomfort, particularly that night. So uh, we were looking for a solution, some way that we could have a, uh, a sway control weight distributing hitch that you didn't have to struggle with the torsion bars. And that's where the Hensley hitch came in. The Hensley hitch is uh, pretty unique. It's not like any other hitch on the market today. Um, it does have torsion bars, but the way the hitch is designed, you don't have to struggle with them manually. You're actually adjusting them using a screw jack and in either a, a ratchet or, in my case, an electric drill. Oh, got a, a little power engine. tool. Yeah, power <laughs> tool is exactly right. Got the, uh, the hitch installed on the 4th of July, and uh, we are reasonably well pleased with it today. Um, and we got to do it ourselves and not have to wait for getting an appointment, try to get in two months to see the dealer to put it in. Saved us money. It was very good with instructions, so we're going to have a video to show how we installed it, and you can do that too. Yes. Hensley Hitch is actually sold not so much for the fact that you don't have to deal with torsion bars. It's really uh, aimed at folks who are struggling with sway because the, the hitch... The way it's designed, as I say, it's completely different than anything else you've seen if you've not looked at it. Um, it actually eliminates sway. Uh, the, the way it's designed, it's physically impossible for the trailer to sway when it's being towed with a Hensley hitch. Even in heavy winds. Yeah. <laughs> now, we didn't really have too much of a problem with that. Our trailer is uh, grosses out at about 10,000 pounds. Nice and So heavy. It, was, it was pretty heavy already. <laughs> And we, we had a dually, and I think a dually hugs uh -huh. the road a little better. So yeah. we really didn't have the sway. Yeah, so we didn't really buy it for that reason. We bought it simply because uh, we didn't have to deal with torsion bars. Pain bars. The pain Remember, bars. Cling on the, uh, pain bars. The cling on pain sticks. <laughs> or whatever we call yeah. It. Yeah. So we did that. So now, uh, what's been our um, what's our experience Ooh. with them now that we've had it for <laughs> about a month, four weeks, five weeks? Um, well, certainly, we don't have to deal with those uh, torsion bars anymore. Uh, just using a drill is the way that they're adjusted, using the screw jacks. Um, the uh, one thing that they will tell you whenever you buy it is that hitching up is an entirely new experience. It's a learning process. Learning uh, curve. That's a nice way of saying that... <laughs> it took us first, a few times. <laughs> the first time that you do it, uh, you better reserve... Uh, 30 or 40 minutes. But it's after the first hundred, you're fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're kind of working towards that. We're not quite there yet. But here's the here's the idea. You know, with a, a traditional hitch on a travel trailer, you've got a ball and you have the coupler. It comes down. I just click on it. That's all you have to worry about. It doesn't matter if the 
uh, uh, if the coupler is at this angle or this angle, or even if it's up or down, you just have to get it over the ball and drop it down. Hey, you got a little fudge row. Probably about yeah. a quarter of an inch either way. <laughs> yeah, you can. Uh, you, you don't have to be. Right on. <laughs> precise. This one you do. The Hensley hitch is you're worrying about the connection in three dimensions. Yeah. Not, uh, and you'll have to see it, but uh, you've got a long stinger that's going inside a receiver, and not the receiver on the truck, on your tow vehicle, but the receiver on the hitch. And we'll show it, pictures. Yeah, we'll show you some <laughs> pictures of it. Maybe we'll stick some right in here yeah. somewhere. Yeah. But uh, that means that you're worried about the angle that you are connecting in three dimensions. Yeah. So not only do you have to have it, you yeah. know, uh, this way, sideways, but you're also worried about it up and down. Mm -hmm. And then um, uh, the angle. And then angle like this, one way or the other. One time we had that where the truck, it was way up and the trailer was right down. And that was a challenge. We had yeah. to angle the thing to get there. There's a way to do it. Yeah, you I just have to, yeah, figure to it learn out. And, and figure out how you make all the adjustments. It's so it still easier than the pain sticks, trust me. Yeah, yeah, I don't have any more of those worries. But anyway, uh, so that's uh, the story on the, uh, the Hensley hitch, why we put it on. I will tell you the thing's expensive. So... Uh, but it's uh, worth it that he doesn't hurt. <laughs> It's yeah, if whenever you compare the alternative, which was buying a fifth wheel. Oh, and they're really so, expensive. All right, so you're going to spend <laughs> sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars, as opposed a couple of thousand dollars for the hands. Much hitch. better. It's probably a better. And deal. you can do it yourself and save money. <laughs> yep, you can install it yourself, and it's designed to install yourself. Yes, we like that. So it, it worked out pretty well. So this next little clip video is showing the hitching process after we've already installed it to show you how easy and so nice to be able to use the power tools and not to hurt ourselves with the Klingon bars. So I hope you enjoy the clip. by turning those uh, little yeah. things yeah, so you gotta yeah just adjust yeah, it just turn it one yeah and there she is yep all right. yeah all right so you got the electric and you got your chain cross yep okay all right so the adjusting I need to pull back a little so they can see that yeah, so adjusting that. Yeah. This is how you adjust the uh, the, the the weight on your uh, on your front tires. Right. You pick this thing up and it puts more weight on the tires. Yeah. And what we have learned is if I get it, there's three marks down here, and if I get it about an inch ahead of above that last mark, it, it rides pretty good. Yeah. If I get any more pressure than that. It just beats us to death. It's too stiff so, then. It's too stiff, yeah. So we had to adjust that a couple times to figure out what the best ride. Yeah. yeah. I mean, these, these roads are really bad, so I told him, you got to make it softer. It's killing me. <laughs> then we're ready to go. Howdy, partner. Now you come along for the ride, and you come and subscribe, and, you know, thumbs up, hit that bell. Woo!